Welcome to Ghost Recon, I'm Major Freak. I'll be showing you pinpoint accuracy halo dropping. Um, I found that the best way to do it is if you're exactly 4.7 kilometers away, you go up 3,000 meters relative altitude to the target, turn 90 degrees, and then bail. And you're going to be yeah, pretty much perfect on. Uh, no adjustments needed mid free fall. And you can pull your chute at 100 meters and land exactly where you need to be. Of course, there's always going to be deviations. Always. Um, so you will need to adjust by pressing A and D to go left and right uh, as you're approaching the target. Because there's, there's no way to get perfect, especially when you're eyeballing it like this. And especially on various targets, I mean, it's it's not like you're going to be able to practice and practice and practice uh, where exactly you need to start from and all this stuff. So, we are landing in the Unidad base that is used by the Gorilla Mode for its waves of survival. Something, uh, I know the back of my hand on, and something you'll recognize. Now if you adjust, if you hold S um, while you're free falling, and you hold it all the way, you'll only gain about 300 meters uh, in total and it's 5.5 kilometers so we're talking you're gonna gain about 10 percent distance if you do this so it's it's not a lot actually um, but yeah if you try it like like paragliding if I've tested if you like say pull your shoe and you hold S for a second, it the animation, if you turn sideways, if you look this way, it, it looks like you're gaining altitude when you do this. Um, but if you hold it too long, it looks like you're going to fall short. And you do. If I tried it, it I pulled my chute right away and then held S all the way in. I went 30% of the distance I would have if I just let it glide all the way in. It takes about six minutes to glide 10 kilometers horizontally. Um, and if you press every 30 seconds, hold S for a second, you'll gain five meters effectively in the long run, but it's not like you're going to climb five meters. Let me adjust a bit here. There we go. And at... There we go. Oh! Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. I'm yapping too much. Maybe pull the shoot to 200 meters. Not get too fancy. Because I swear I've been okay before. Alright, this is not the greatest for grabbing a... A helicopter. Um, there's helicopters over here I can get to. Not sure if I can uh, get to it quickly. Um, can I use a boat to get there? Why the hell not, right? That's doable. Let's grab this boat. Hi! Oops. Dies. Fall back. Dead. Ah. Just wanna steal your boat. Just wanna steal your boat! Just wanna steal your boat. Just wanna steal your... Oh god. Uh-oh, I can't see with crap. 
Where am I going? Okay, go south. Oh shit. Why is is this uh oh. My boat's dead. What the hell? Okay then, good to know. soon I'm sure or not yeah it finally tired out yeah I don't have the stamina upgrades this is a, a zero skill character but she does have parachute skill that's something you can't get in, in Gorilla, by the way, if you're curious about jumping off buildings. Tested and true. Tra -la, 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 la There's a jammer in this thing? That's hilarious. Sicarius have jammers? Oh, wait. Where's my frickin'... Hey! Where's my frickin' helicopters? Oh, there they are! Damn it. Man, I gotta travel all the way through this? I'm taking the frickin' tank. I'm taking your tank. There's nothing you can do about it. Hey, taking your tank. Shut up. Somebody with a minigun. That's not good. Ah! Run away! Eh. Too late. Okay, where's your dam? Uh, I can't get to it from here? Oh, seriously? Frickin' fine, I'll steal your chopper. Hi. Yeah, <laughs> shoot the chopper. Lol. Gotta take out this guy. Because he's firing a freaking... Take a hike. Don't destroy my chopper. Hide that chopper. Huh. 
Ah, lol. See ya. <laughs> Thanks, Unidad. Alright, off we go. Are you actually chasing me in the Jeep? That's hilarious. So I think planes travel at about 350 meters up. Fairly sure. It's trying to evade. That's cute. Uh-oh. Sorry, bud. Three hundred meters. All right, that's our rock, I believe. Where's our rock? Where's our rock? I think it's this one. Yep. again. So yeah, 4.6. It'd be funny if this thing actually just because it was so big. So yeah, we're right about there. And we need to be. So Probably the hitbox of the heli is uh, a bit a bit big. It'd be interesting, uh, I'm pretty sure this takes kilometer to climb to 3,000 meters. I'm not sure though. I could always time it on the video. So yeah, that, uh, that you'll, if you paraglide in, you'll land right about there on that mountain behind it. And it's uh, very close to Villa Verde uh, Bravo. Yeah, six minutes. Flight time. Snore City. And if you hold S all the way in and land 30% of the distance, it also takes six minutes, so, yeah. Snore. I've not tried holding W for either free-falling or paragliding. It's just, I don't feel like adding that to the test. Needless to say, the angle is very severe. So yeah, if you're base jumping, remember if you're pressing W to go forward to get off the cliff, if you keep holding W, you're gonna face plant if you're too close. So let go of W as soon as you uh, go into base jumping mode. Yeah, pro tip. There we go. A bit of a whale here, give me a sec. thing. Oh, almost there. Alright. And there. And sign our Yeah, at first when I was playing Gorilla uh, mode, I, I thought it was an entirely new base that I'd never seen before, and it's not on the map, because I just that, this particular Kimane's base. I've, I've only just sightseed going through. Just, you know, traveling right through the road in the middle of there. But then I saw the the temple way over there, the mausoleum. I'm like, wait, this is the map? Cool, where is this? And it was like, oh, right, never, never been here. Maybe that's why I was off a bit. Uh, 
because I clicked the wrong thing. Alright. Here we come. Alright, there it is. Right there. I'm going to pull my shoot at 200, actually. Whoop! And hold S. And as you can see, typically it feels like you slow your descent. Oh! Nope. Ah, lol. Yeah, you can actually get quite a bit of altitude there. Cool. That's kind of neat. Hi! Oh, shush, go away. Yeah, so it's 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 kind of interesting. Oh, kill me already. Thank you. It's kind of interesting how your it really screws with your I'm going to land there when you deploy your chute because pulling it to at 200 meters made me overshoot by 50 and that's happened before actually. Uh, when I put my shoot at 200 meters, I am at a severe angle. Um, and I just, I'm so used to the free fall angle that adjusting to a 50% shallower angle when I'm adjusting is really, it's a real trip, actually. And of course, I'm at that, this stupid place again, which is far away from any freaking helicopter. And I don't have the skills to call a helicopter, which would be make things a lot easier. So what I'll do is I'll just... Uh, I think the quickest way to get a helicopter is go here. If you want to test this yourself. If you want to test this yourself. And you're next to that base. Uh, going north of it, if you get spawned north, much better. But sometimes you get in this loop of spawning near the submarine base. It's really annoying. But yeah, go here, get in this truck. You go take this road to your right. Take a right. Just cross the bridge. And then you go west. Whoops. Yeah, whoops, sorry. Usually best to clear the, uh, the woods. Whoops. Go west, young man. There's their helicopter. And they're all alive again. Oh, yay. Good for them. Hello, machine gunner. Oh, what a shame. Hello. Hello. Explosion alert. Thank you. Now, though you can clip the tops of normal trees, if you try to clip the top of a burnt tree, you're yeah, you're just gonna crash and burn. Do, do, do. Just gonna avoid this base right here. It's a pain trying to get its helicopter. Ugh. Sneaky, sneaky. Do, 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 do. You had to restart the video, but what the hey, right? Show you guys how I actually get get here. Alright. So you are 4.7. 
little bit closer. Get exact four foot six foot. There we go. And up. It's it's really trippy because I can adjust while free falling and while you're adjusting you're like okay I'm falling in that angle but as soon as your chute deploys you have to shift your angle like 50% and it's it's a real because it, it, it fools you into thinking where you're gonna land right when you're used to falling at a cer certain angle and all of a sudden you know you're falling at a completely different angle as you saw it did seem like I was gaining altitude now whether or not that wasn't gaining altitude but just adjusting your angle even further for a brief moment I, I don't know it's it's really odd uh, I'll probably have to watch the uh, I might have to test that actually when I'm close to the ground pressing S see if I actually gain altitude but it's hard to zoom out, so I, I don't know how I'll test that. Hopefully uh, the videos will give me a better idea. Oh, cool, lightning. All right. I get lightning struck on my guy while I'm par paragliding. No, that'll never happen. It's just a cosmetic. All right, where are we? Get the angle right, and there we go. And 3,000. Do 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 do. Woohoo! I wish there was a way of disabling the videos when they pop up. I think uh, you you it goes hand in hand with the mission pop ups, so I don't think it's possible to get rid of it. Now, if I'm crossing that information blurb right there, does that mean I'm on target? Crossing the tank. That might be a good way to... Nah, I'm crossing the tank. Eh, maybe not. So, adjusting a bit. And uh, adjusting, adjusting, adjusting. Pull the chute at 200. Now my angle's there. Weird, huh? And then I'm pressing W. Bam. Yeah, it's really bizarre. Yeah, it's so lightly defended, nobody's going to wander by and see the body. Yeah, I won't be able to shoot that guy. My foul just doesn't have the penetration. Uh, let's see. Probably shoot through this thing. Get you. There we go. Yeah, there's one. There's one parakeet or whatever the hell they call him. Hello. And the other one's either flying about there or landing on top of the sniper tower. I don't think there's another one. And I'm not sure if they play that animation on Gorilla Mode. It's not like you have time to notice stuff like that. Yeah. See, that's pretty good. As as you saw, the, the angle of approach was very extreme. Um, the change, it does, does fool you, especially if you're trying to adjust before you realize how shallow an angle you now are on. It's uh, kind of trippy, actually. 
but uh, with a little bit of experience, I'm sure uh, you'll be able to adjust, just like I am, slowly. But yeah, I mean, when people brag about, oh yeah, I totally pinpointed that, meh, yeah, why don't you just do this mission that way, meh, yeah, and yeah, I can pinpoint all the time, and you're like, okay, well, that's great, but it's probably, you're either lying, or it's luck, because it's, it's not the easiest to get the angle, you know, to get a pinpoint without it having to adjust all the time, so... Yeah, I'm sure if you're madly adjusting all the time, you could probably pinpoint it. Um, but yeah, to be able to do it without having to fiddle is a more enjoyable, aesthetic experience, I find. Ah, huh, I think that's a Mackinac, uh, or whatever those parrot things on another one. Cool. Does every building get one? <laughs> I want one, too. Anyways. Uh, yeah. That's it. It's, it would be interesting to try uh, the Miller uh, mission using this. Uh, I've never tried it. Let's see if I can just eyeball it when I do it, right? So let's go to the cruise. Do I have a Bravo thing I can go to? I guess not. Where's a nearby one? I I guess I guess this one will do. Could probably go to that one. Yeah, let's how about stealing the boat? Let's do destroy no. I'm just gonna go here. Yeah, let's try the uh, the Miller one and see if I can figure out and an angle and distance because all I need is get relative I just need to tag it get to the base itself I don't think it has a SAM site and fly in a direction that I think I'll be able to get uh, at the same altitude but 4.7 kilometers away that's my aim and uh, let's grab a boat Yeah, the theory is that you should be able to apply this ev everywhere, right? Come on, get in there. South? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, and uh, I'll just... I need to go get some water, so I'm going to pause. I need to stop the video here and just continue it straight on. And this will be a part two... Just to test, I mean, my first time trying something, if, if this method is going to work for every location, right? So let's just try to eyeball it first time, see how I do, and it'll be good to have documentation about, you know, exactly what I'm doing. And am I going the right way? Yeah. Okay.